Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Crafting on a Budget with Emma. And for our very first video tutorial as Crafting on a Budget with Emma, we're going to be creating this beautiful lobster claw clasp keychain. This is the gunmetal, and we're going to be using some spacers, some silicone beads, and some random beads that I have in my personal stash. This is the other one. Of course, this is the gold color. And again, we're using some silicone beads, some spacers, and some random beads. If you're interested in purchasing the Lobster Claw keychain blank, just the blank without the beads, um, let me know, comment below, and I will make sure that once we have our website uh, up and ready that we provide you with the link. So let's get started and let's get over to the creating space. Alrighty, so here I have picked out some spacers, some beads that will fit our lobster claw keychain. And I also have these little silicone beads that we will also be providing little packs if you're interested in purchasing these little mini kits that we're putting together. Um, so let's start by taking out our gunmetal lobster claw keychain. And it comes like this, and we're just going to unscrew it from the base okay you'll want to clean this up with a little bit of alcohol if you have that I've already cleaned mine up and then and you don't have to do that I just prefer to clean it up because these are going to be gifted um, then you want to put out all the beads that you want to use um, I do know that we're using um, the butterfly and I love butterflies so that's going to be my little signature uh, twist to this. I'm going to pour these in here like so and work from what we have here. I also have some silicone spacers and um, these work great for this type of work as well. So let's see I want and when you're doing this make sure that whatever bead you have is wide enough to fit in the clasp keychain and the reason I say that I'm going to show you that right now see this one here it will not fit in because that hole is not big enough so just make sure that when you're selecting your beads it fits in okay so it, that's very important that you pick beads that will literally fit in perfectly well inside um, okay, so that'll fit perfect. Now, if you do like your little paper bead nuggets, you can use those bead nuggets as well. This is just made out of scrap pieces of paper that I have Mod Podge and sealed, and I've distressed it as well. So this is something you can use as well if you're interested in doing your own little bead nuggets. Um, I've used that in the past when I've done like um, some of my boho beads, um, but that's an option for you guys, okay? And I kind of like that little bead there. And I'm going to put the spacer in here. I kind of like that. So you kind of play around, get a feel of what it is you want, um, and then go from there. That's all that matters, really, that you like what you're making. And if you like it, go for it. That's how I feel about it. Um, maybe not so much that Let's see. I really appreciate all of you guys who came out last night for our video of welcoming Emma um, I am so grateful to have such a beautiful community that has been supportive of both my daughter and the arrival of my granddaughter. I am over the moon with her. I just can't, okay. I can't express how, um, how I am over the moon with my granddaughter. And I'm sure that many of you guys out there that has grandbabies, that's just how you guys feel. I never knew, you know, you love your children. I love my children to death, but there's nothing I would not do for my children. And of course, now that I have a grandbaby, it's like, oh my God, you know, 
I'm over the moon. I'm excited. I'm I'm in love. I'm in love, and she's bringing so much joy into our lives. And I'm just I'm in I'm in awe with my grandbaby. I really, really am. So again, I appreciate all of you guys, and I'm here trying to figure out um, how do I want this. Mm, let's see. This one's glass, um, of course. Okay. So you can use silicone and you can kind of alternate them if you want. Um, just kind of get a feel of what you want. Maybe that one's out. Let's go with this one. Like I said, I've gone through, picked out some things um, as to what I want so let me go over here and pick out some other ones and I have some various you know beads um, that I pick up randomly whenever um, I see them on sale at um, you know Joann's I like going to Joann's because they normally have really good deals as far as um, when it comes to beads. I did like that one. They really, really do. And I absolutely love their bead selection. Oh, that's good. I like that. Kind of have to space it out in a way that um, it'll work so you can you know close up your oh I like that I like I like that I don't know about you guys what do you guys think I love that I like that so we're gonna go with that and then what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll screw it in it's just a really easy peasy kind of thing it's so easy you know you can do this with of course I'm gonna put this one here your grandbabies you know, it's such a cute, fun project that you can do um, with those grandbabies. So yes, yeah, so we're super excited. Um, we're going to be working very hard and diligently to get some of the things that you know we want to start offering a lot of video tutorials I'm working a lot with SVGs and you know designing little things that you guys can use in your craft that pretty I love it I absolutely love it so that's three that we have and that cute I'm going with the butterfly as you can see so there's that and I'll put those in the side so you can look at them all right, so let's now do um, let's do another rose. Oh wait, I have this one here that I had already wiped up. So, so yeah, so we're super excited. I'm thrilled to have you guys um, join us in this amazing journey. Um, I'm excited that Carla's excited because it gives her something to do. You know, it really, really, really does. And so, with that being said, um, we have a lot of work ahead of us, a lot, and, and uh, I know, you know, that not everything is built overnight, you know, Rome wasn't built overnight, so you got to take that into consideration, and I told her, you know, don't, don't stress yourself out, you know, don't worry about, you know, any loose ends or anything like that. Um, we got this. I'm here to support her every step of the way, however I can possibly support her. Um, I'm going to be here to support her. That's what parents do, right? And uh, that's that's what I that's what I want to do. I want to support her in this journey. You know, for years you guys have uh, accompanied me as I crafted, saw my kids grow up, watching Brianna always had her hands in the videos and you know she was crafty enough that she would come in and share some of her little cutesy stuff that she would make and some of you ladies even bought her little 
cute stuff that she would make. Um, she was she was so cute, you know. Um, Carla would even make some little um, uh, paper flowers back in the day. So I'm just really excited that this is something that you know she wants to do and she wants to. Um, you know, introduce it to to baby Emma. So yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited, excited, excited. I'm looking for this piece. So I'm just gonna screw that in like so. And we put some silver on this, silver and gold, because you know silver and gold. I think that's cute. Mm. might remove this one here so let's remove that one so and that's a good thing you can unscrew it change the beads however you want you know it's nothing is set in stone with this so I'm going to change probably this one maybe not that But yeah, we're super excited. I'm thrilled. I'm excited. I'm thrilled. You know, um, I know it's 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 scary for her, um, but we're we're excited and we're 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 going to give it our all. Give it our all. All right. So we got that. Let's see. What else can we do? silicone this is a silicone one well, it's kind of cute simple cute and that's okay simple is good you know simple is good that's right And like I said, you can even use, if you don't have silicone beads, you can use those paper beads as well, um, the bead nuggets that I would make. I think there should be a video in my, um, oh, it's cute, in my, one of my videos that I had in my video collection where I show you guys how to do the bead nuggets. And what I mean by bead nuggets is these little things like that, that you know music sheets and stuff like that so you'll have to go into um, the beads sorry the video below and uh, pick one out sorry I kind of spaced it all right so screw it up and now let's figure out what we're gonna do Alrighty, my friends, so we have completed this one video tutorial quick and easy using some um, silicone beads, some glass beads, some plastic beads, um, and also the lobster claw claps keychains, both in the gun metal and the gold plated. And this is what they look like. So that one has a glass bead. Here's some little plastic beads or imitation pearls <laughs> this is some silicone with some uh, plastic again silicone and plastic this one is a little bit different it's a daisy one go. pretty quick easy fun video tutorial this is something you can do with your grandbabies. So our next video tutorial is going to be creating a little box to put these in because these are going to be some gifts. So um, stay tuned for that video. But for now, this is all we have for you. Thank you for joining. Don't forget to leave a comment below if you're interested. Um, once we have the website going for the um, lobster 
claw claps keychains let us know if you're interested in that and i'll see you guys in the next video till next time bye bye take care